We now have UFO abductions and the jack-o'-lanterns back in GTA Online, as well as a lot of other new Halloween updates, including the secret UFO abduction where we spawn underground Fort Zancudo in the secret laboratory. Now I'll be making videos on all of the new stuff we find all this week, and this week is my Rocktober week, the week that I upload daily every time this week. There are going to be some major videos, including the Mount Chiliad mystery video, and maybe even a potential GTA 6 release video. We have to wait and see for that, but so subscribe if you want to see that. But let's talk about the new GTA Online Halloween update. This is the last week of this little update event week. Jack-o'-lanterns are returning in GTA Online, all 200. So if you haven't unlocked all the rare outfits you can't unlock last year, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock it in this video. Collecting all 200 to get the rare pumpkin t-shirt, which a lot of people still don't have unlocked. And for some people, Rockstar actually removed it. That's right, Rockstar removed mine. So I have to do this all over again. And UFO abductions are all this week. And at the end of this week, you can spawn in the underground Fort Zancudo laboratory. So let's look at how to do all of this. The UFO abductions are back in GTA Online for the second year in a row. So let's look at all the locations for the UFOs first. So these are all 26 locations and some of these have already passed by the time I am recording this. Right now it is the last week of this whole Halloween update. So some of these have already passed. But there are going to be four days of UFO abductions. 28th, the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st on Halloween day. And those are the ones you need to get abducted to unlock these new, well, new rare outfits. And Omega, of all people on the GTA forum, has made this for us. Well, it's the same as I uploaded last year, but here it is again for you guys. So it is the 26th right now, so uh, starting on the 28th, you can be abducted on the UFOs 13 to 26 until the 31st. Those are the UFOs that are going to be staying every single day. And here it is on the map for you guys. You guys can look at 13 to 26 on the map. So when it's time to get abducted, when the UFOs are out at night, pull up your phone and when there is an alien symbol, alien emoji under the time on your phone, that's when you know you can't get abducted. So just go up to any of these UFOs and you can get abducted. And you could take a picture of these every real life day to get money. So every UFO you take a picture of is $15,000 and 100 RP. And if you did photograph all the other ones, if you photograph all the rest, all 26, you get $100,000 as a bonus and unlock the UFO themed caps. But I already have that, so I didn't have to do that. And for the graph, the stealth UFO, which is UFO number eight, you get $50,000 GTA cash and $1,000 RP. So when you get abducted by the UFOs on these last four days, you will unlock the UFO themed boxer shorts and the question mark t-shirt, which is a really trippy t-shirt. It is the one with the alien on it and all these logos. And this one you will get when you do wake up and spawn at the secret underground Fort Zancudo base. That is how you unlock that t-shirt. I thought it was going to be some kind of GTA 6 t-shirt, but maybe not. It's just a UFO t-shirt. So moving to the jack-o'-lanterns. All 200 of these are back in GTA Online for you to go around and collect. Now that's right, there are 200 of these. That is a lot for collectible in GTA Online. They are spread all throughout the map, so you have no problem finding at least 10 of these, which is how you get the $50,000 GTA cash. So collecting only 10 of these every day gets you $50,000 and it resets every day. So once you collect 10 of these, come back tomorrow, they will all be respawned and you could get $50,000 again for just about five minutes. It's super easy. And you get some free money and RP for it. So if you guys are new to this event, there is an easy way to tell if you are close to one, if you don't have the map, but I will show you guys the map and all of the locations of the jack-o'-lanterns right here on the video. So just pause this, take a screenshot of this, come back to it. That is all of the pumpkin spots you can find on the map. But if you're just driving around in free mode on the bike or a car, your controller will start to vibrate when you do come close to one of these. So if your controller starts to vibrate for some weird reason, you are close to a jack-o'-lantern and you could go pick it up for some extra free money. So once you pick up 10 of these, you get $50,000 GTA cash. 
and you do get the horror pumpkin mask on the first completion. If you don't have it unlocked already, you will unlock that after the first 10 you get. So go do this today to unlock the pumpkin mask and the $50,000. The pumpkin mask is a one time unlock, but the $50,000 come back every day. You can unlock it. So for this whole week, if you come back every day and do this, you will get $350,000 total for just about five minutes every day doing this. That's pretty good. And then if you want to go all out, you can collect all 200, which is what I did last year. And you do get the pumpkin t-shirt if you don't have it unlocked already. Weirdly enough, Rockstar removed it on my account. I do not have that anymore. Rockstar removed it on my character. So I have to do this all again, which I will be doing this all again. So subscribe if you want to see me waste my time doing this. But you will get the pumpkin tea if you decide to go to all 200 locations in one GTA Online day. And you can log off for a few minutes and log back on. It will still save your progress. So it is one time a day. You have all day to do this. And you do get another $50,000 bonus. So if you want to go to all 200 locations per day, which I don't recommend you doing, you do get $100,000 per day, which is pretty nice. So at the end, you will be getting a total of $700,000 if you do decide to do this every single day. Now, picking up these pumpkins, you will get a few different things. You will get some tricks or some treats. So the tricks you could get is shock, energy pulse, stone or explosion. Those are like kind of cheat codes they add in, which is really interesting. I really love how Rockstar did this. It really makes it fun. Not a random experience you get. And the treats, you do get some extra money. You could get from 250000 to 5000 You can get some RP up to 1000 RP, which is pretty good, to be honest. If you're picking up a lot of these, you get some pretty decent RP. You can get some health or armor. You could get some snacks or a peyote plant, which turns you into an animal including Bigfoot. You can turn into Bigfoot if you are lucky. And those will last for two minutes. And the little tip for the tricks picking up these pumpkins, if you are in passive mode, you will not die if you get the explosion. So you won't die and spawn super far away. Go into passive mode while doing this and you can survive the explosion. So that is the full jack-o'-lantern update explained in GTA Online. You do get some cool rare unlocks. It is a repeat of last year, but very fun to do still. Log in at least once a day, get a free $50,000 for 5 minutes. Very easy free money right there. And you guys know, if you are a regular here on the channel, you know I got you guys hooked up with the money, money maker methods on this channel. So keeping this on 8 minutes, enjoy the next few days of Halloween updates. And I'll see you guys in one more video I make next.